Hi, I'm Tammy Shambada, Houston-based attorney and host of Ask Tammy Live, where we discuss the best ways to establish your business, protect your name, and keep your profits. Today's question of the day is, does my LLC have to be named the same thing as my trademark? All right, excellent question. Want to jump right in. The answer to that question is no, not necessarily. So if you go back and you look at over or different types of businesses that exist, the names of the business don't necessarily correlate with the, the brand name that they put out there. You can have a business for, you know, legal reasons that has one name and a trademark that's completely different. So I'll give you an example. And I think they have actually registered a trademark for this, but just something for you to keep in mind. Um, Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble owns many of the household items that we use, right? And all of the items that they sell and put out there have their own trademarks, but the LLCs associated with Procter & Gamble are different. If you look at some of your different products that you re re um, purchase and things like that, look at the bottles. You'll see different LLC names or corporation names, and those entities own the assets associated with the business, they own the trademarks, they own the actual physical factories that create the things that you're interested in, property that's associated, all of that can be owned by an LLC and that name can be completely different from the trademark. Why do some people do that? Well, it can be a form of privacy, right? So let's say you are involved in doing work with other entities, maybe you have manufacturers outside of the country or things like that, and you don't necessarily want to tie it directly to your business. You may want to consider um, having an LLC that has a different name from the trademark in order to make sure that people can't trace it easily. Um, in those instances, it might not be just enough to have two different, a different name from the trademark, but it might be the first step. So just something that you can consider. That might be one of the things that someone might do in terms of not wanting it to be the same. Then you also have people who are just using um, LLCs or corporations as holding companies, and they're just using it to hold assets. If that's the case, you might not be so concerned with brand protection because you're not necessarily trying to distinguish yourself in commerce. You're not trying to stand out and be distinct in terms of, oh, people, my customers and clients, I want them to know that this is from me. You're just using it for a very specific purpose. In those cases, you might not necessarily have a trademark that is the same as the LLC. So there are various instances. Um, if you have questions about that, you really want to make sure you reach out to a legal counsel to kind of help you and guide you in terms of that decision making to say, okay, what is the best strategy for me? Um, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. That's all I really have with regards to this question. If there are any other questions or comments or feedback with regards to this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Additionally, if you are trying to figure out what steps you need to take in terms of starting your business, create a resource that I think will be really helpful for you. It's called the Start Right Action Checklist and it is available, the link will be below. And this is a checklist that I use with the information that I use with my clients. These are the step-by-step -step things that I say, hey, have we done this? Okay, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this, to make sure that their businesses are built to be established and that they last. So download the checklist, check it out, use it in terms of coming up with a game plan to strategically establish your business. If all of this is helpful and you want to find out more about the firm, you can visit toslegal.com. You can also follow me on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and any of those other um, channels as well. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.